It's another beautiful day on Classic Let's Play, and we built this beautiful house right here behind me, and unfortunately, I've built it twice. I'll explain that in a moment, but first, let me congratulate you for meeting the goals that we put on the last uh, video, episode one, where you had to meet 1,000 likes for a raid to occur in the village and 200 comments for me to have to fight that raid at nighttime, and we met those. We've crushed them, actually, in a way, and... I underestimated you guys. So the next goal for you guys, we're going to put this a little bit out of reach because I don't want to have to keep fighting these things so often is you're going to have to get 1500 likes and you're going to have to get 300 comments. If you want me to have to fight another raid at nighttime, 1500 likes, 300 comments, but I'm going to have a surprise for you guys. You have to stay till the end for me to tell you, but it's going to be crazy now as far as today is concerned we have some catching up to do and we have a number of tasks first of all i told you i built the house twice that's because i accidentally deleted this world yeah proud proud messed up big time uh, luckily i did have a uh, backup of the world that i took before i made the house because i i like designed the house in a creative copy of the world so i ended up having to go through and remake the house again and as you've seen we are like we don't have anywhere near as much stuff as we had before i don't have my diamond tools that chest is empty these chests are not all the way full so we actually have quite a lot that we have to do to catch up i'm getting low on food we have 13 baked potatoes left so there's a lot to get done and i just added in a second ago a board here that we're going to use to keep track of our tasks and i think i'm even going to add like a lectern with a little book here that we can keep a log in as well that way we can kind of keep a log of like each episode and like what things Things we go through kind of like a telling of history and sense of the village so we're going to get that as well but here's our goals for today we need to find diamonds we're going to get some diamond gear we're going to defeat the raid and hopefully not lose many or any villagers in the process and we have to build a mine i say build a mine we're going to decorate the little mine area that we dug out in episode one and we're going to make that look pretty awesome here for episode two and that's actually where we're heading right now and i think as we walk down there our already started this pathing a little bit we're just going to add a little bit more pathing we probably need to terraform that but add a little bit more pathing as we go just to kind of tell that story the fact that we are traveling oh hello horsey um to and from and eventually we'll have like a clear path that leads from there out to here do i have water down there yes i do okay let's hope we don't die yes so here's how we're going to do this i'm going to do this the most efficient fastest way possible which is to say that we're going to dig in a little bit right here we'll go in let's say four blocks then we're going to actually start digging out this way we're going to put a trap door right there we can lift it up we can place it down and now we are in the crouching position and this is the fastest way by far to get diamonds so we're going to keep going until we get diamonds we will pick up some redstone along the way why not i don't know how much redstone we're going to need or use in this world and of course i find lava and i did not bring a bucket that's that's just like me isn't it oh i did i did bring a bucket never mind prowl is smart prowl is very smart Mining is all complete. Um, let me take, I'm just gonna take some stuff topside. We'll do the rest of it later. We got our diamonds. We just got some other miscellaneous things and I have the rest of it up top. Uh oh, is it, is it turning nighttime? Or is it turning morning? I don't know. Bed, 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 bed. Where is this guy at? I'm not, I'm not missing. We have villagers around, we're good. Let's go ahead and just put some of our extra stuff here away. And we got ourselves 52 diamonds, 52 diamonds. So let's go ahead. Let's get full gear. Two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. Let's get ourselves a sword. Uh, we have a shovel. We need another axe for when this one runs out. We need another pickaxe because that's all gone. And let's gear up. Diamond gear. Let's go. And then our stuff right here, I feel like... I feel like we need to hang it up. Let's take all of our 
all of our original iron stuff here. Let's cook down some of this cobble, make an armor stand. And you know what? Let's put this like center of the village, like on display for all to see. The governor prowl has been taking care of this place and in an homage to him and his defense of the village. Here he stands ready to defend the village always. And I do believe we're going to go out on a little adventure soon. So I think it'd be a good idea to have with us a bow. Let's see if we can make some arrows. That would be really nice. Um, here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Ah, there you are. I need some feathers. Come here, buddy. Let me pluck you. Oh, no, he just despawned. Well, that's awkward. Oh, no, there he is. Hey, chicky, chicky. Uh. While we're over here, I'll do a little bit of harvesting here. Oh, man, you know what we don't have that I need and I just thought of? We need leather. Because at some point in the not too distant future, I think I want to get an enchanting table set up. So we're probably going to have to, like, get some cows over here. Any cows around here? We do have some pins. We could at least trap a couple right now. Oh, there's one down there. Hold on. I need I need some wheat. Uh, come here, moo cow. Mer. That's me saying come here to the cow. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Come on this way. Um, I don't know where the nearest pin is. Just follow me. Ah, here we go. Home sweet home. Oh, there's already you already have a wife in here. Come on. Oh, there you go. All right. I'll be messing with you two a little bit later. You guys even have a tree for cover. Isn't that nice? Um, any other chickies? Any other chickens before before we get going here? I, I, I have five arrows. Five. All right. Well, now I think would be a good time to like, let's do a little bit of scouting for the village. And let's see exactly what's going on with our enemy over here. Yeah, we're going to get we're gonna get a higher vantage point to see if we can better see what's happening. Oh, man, they have a bannerman. Oh, there's a loot chest in there. OK, is it is it ironic that I'm going to pillage the pillagers? Let's pillage them. It's my loot now. Is it? Oh, they left. They left their bannerman unguarded. Rah! Surprise attack. What do we got? Some dark oak, some wheat. Man, I was really hoping for an armor trim from this. All right, well, at least we got a few things here. Let's head back home. Villagers, I checked out the enemy. I've killed their bannerman. He is dead. He is dead. Oh, why is there? Why are you in there, golem? What? A raid? Golem, help! Defend the village! Whoa. Whoa. Are you... Why were you rushing me like that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Where? Run away, villagers! This way. We must defend the village. Oh, no. They're already in. Oh, they're coming from this side again. Why are you standing outside? We're being invaded. No, he's dead. They killed a villager. No. Ah, I'm being chased by Johnny. I'm out of arrows. Oh, crap. This is not good. Ah! Okay, let's let's regenerate some health. Oh man. Okay. Back up, Johnny. Oh god, that hurt. Oh man, this is so not good. This is so not good. Where are they gonna come from this time? Over here again? What is their fascination with this side of the village? Oh no. I'm gonna have to Oh no. Oh, oh no! I forgot about it! Hello? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, my... I just killed a villager! I'm sorry, Alfred! 
Oh, this this is not going the way I thought it would go. Oh no. Oh. Oh god, that hurt. Why is he making this so difficult? Come here. All right. Let's get some blocks. We need to like actually block some villagers in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mistakes have been made. Bad, bad mistakes have been made. You stay in there. You. In there. Bring it on, pillager! Oh gosh. Oh man, they're gonna have like witches and stuff, aren't they? Oh no. I I did not think this through at all. Like 0% this was thought through. Okay. Let's see if we can isolate them. Aha! Oh, his poison got me. Oh no, two, wait, two left. What happened to the other ones? One left. There's Paul. Paul must have taken care of them. Good job, Paul. Ow, not poison again. This is not good. This is not good. I should have had some milk. Wait, we can get milk. Oh no. Oh no. That's a lot of Johnny's. Oh no. All right. We have to take out the evoker. We have to rush and we have to kill quick, like incredibly fast. All right, let's see if we can do it. Oh, he's got, he's got some guards. He's got some guards. All right, let's go in for the kill. Got him. All right, we got a totem. Ooh. Oh, Paul! Oh no, what if Paul didn't survive? Ah! Oh no! Oh, Paul. Paul, if you died, I will resurrect you, I promise. Oh, oh gosh. Um, I don't. Wait, one of them died. Is Paul still here? Oh my gosh, if Paul's still here, we can maybe give him some health. Paul! Oh, there he is! Oh my god, let's get him some, let's get him some iron. Quick, 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 quick! Don't, don't. Ah! I'm coming, Paul! I'll save you! All right, let's save Paul. What is he, what is he doing? Ah! <laughs> Run away! Paul, I got you, man. All right, you're back in the fight. Follow me. Oh, um, why are you so? Yeah, yeah, what now? You're not so scary. All right, Paul, stay with me, man. We fight to the death, back to back. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Ow. Paul. Help me, Paul. Over here. They're coming. Oh, we laid the trap. We laid the trap. Oh, I didn't hit him, did I? Oh, God, I really hope I didn't hit him. Good job, Paul. All right, let's clean the house, my man. Let's do it. Where's that evoker? Oh, there he is. We have some, you know, we have some arrows. Let's take him out. Uh, uh. You know what, man? Me and Paul, we make a great team. We... We make a great team. Here. Here you go, Paul. I got you covered, man. Give you some heals. Oh, they're down here. I'll get them. I'll get them, Paul. Like Johnny here. Johnny doesn't stand a chance. Look at that. Where's this last guy? Show yourself. Oh, there he is, Paul. Let's get him. Attack. You want this one, you said? All right, Paul. He's all yours. He's all yours. Oh, he's all yours. Oh, 
Oh, you shot Paul? Oh, no, dude. You getting tossed. Oh, you don't mess with Paul. All right, we got this. Here, get some, get some extra health. They're this way. Come on. Oh, oh, no. All right, Paul, we got this. Come on. Oh, crap. No. I healed him. Oh. I got him, Paul. Oh. Uh, we got this. Where are you at? Oh, man. That hurt, didn't it? Come on, dude. We got a hard fight here. Ah! Get him, Paul. I'll get the witch. We got this. How many's left? Oh, he's trying to break in the house. <laughs> oh, another one. Ball. I'll do it. I got him. Two left. They're right here. Can we fight them off? Ow. Ah! Ah! Run away! Does he not know how to get... Can he not climb? He can climb! The, the path finding does not work well on path blocks. That's actually to our advantage. Oh, God. I can't get him. All right, Paul. I need your I need your tankiness, dude. Let's go. I need you to main tank this. This way. No, this way. This way. This way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. The fight's over here, man. Oh! Oh! Ow! We did it! Victory! Let's go! Dude, Paul, you did a great job, my friend. You are the hero of this village. It's not me, it's you. Woo, that was wild. Let's get rid of, like, anything in here I don't really care to have. Oh, we should probably post this. We should probably post these every time that we defeat a pillager raid. It's a warning to the pillagers that they should back off. They should stay away. May this be a warning to you pillagers to stay away. I have, I have your captain's banner and you better be afraid, very afraid. Okay, so I think what I wanna do now is like I'm dying without having any enchantments and we don't have to go and get like fully enchanted gear or anything like that quite yet, but we do need to get some enchantments and I think the best way to do that is going to be really via two methods. What I really want is I want a maxed out pickaxe, okay? So what can we do? We can do two things. We can make an enchanting table to get all of the base enchantments like efficiency and unbreaking and fortune. And then we can get a villager to give us mending. So I think that's going to be the route we take. But for that, I'm going to need a lot of leather. So these guys right here, they need to start breeding. They need to start populating. So that way we can pop out some babies and get some leather. And while I'm at it, Maybe I'll make them a little bit bigger pin than this too, and in a better location. Okay, I think like this spot right here will be good. We don't need a huge area, and maybe like this will become a farmhouse. I don't know, who knows? We could decide to move this stuff, but this is what makes sense to me right now, is the area right here. I don't really wanna expand and make the village any larger or much larger, so I think it's what we'll deal with. What we'll do is we'll put like a little like fence Maybe like a double fence right there. We'll count over three there, count over three here. We'll count over two, count over two. Let's kind of repeat everything over on this side and there. 
Now, I think what we do is we make this little center area a little bit taller to make it prominent and make it stand out. We'll put some little caps on top of these guys right there. And we could do stone walls here, but I think I want to keep it simple for now. And maybe even the village will get to upgrade a little bit later on once we like do some like more general terraforming and kind of get the area looking a little bit more how I think it will in the end. So for now, I think this will work. Let's just place some fences down. Why is he chasing? Stop chasing me. You're just trying to place fences down. Yeah, I like that. It's simple. It looks good. Maybe they need a tree in there too. do a little bit of water in here, throw a tree like right over on this side right there. Oh, these hay bales are right beside here. Maybe I'll snag a couple. I uh, can't put it too close to the edge here. That won't be good. Maybe we'll like put it over like here. Come here, moo moo cows. Let's go to your new home. Come on in. You know what? This is looking good. I like this. It's a nice little thing. Again, we could probably, I don't know. What if we, hold on, like move that up right there. I like that. Just gives a little bit of extra space. Kind of pronounces the um, the entrance a little bit better. I'm down. I think we're good. I like it. You know, let's move the hay bales. Up. Wait, wait, how did you get over here? He jumped across. I wanted you guys to have some hay. Maybe I'll we'll have to put it more in the center. There we go. And instead of using the carpet trick where you put carpet on top of the fence, you can easily just like hop in and out to get in. What if instead we do something like this, right? We just get some hay bales going on. Nothing too crazy. Nice little mixture here. And then now I can just hop in here. Easy enough. Hop out here. Easy enough. I think that works perfectly. Now for the fun and boring part, breeding. Lots and lots and lots of breeding. Okay, here we go. We're down here and it's time to figure this place out. We have a couple different ways that we can go with this. Way number one is to make it look like a rugged cave. Way number two is to make it look kind of nice and finished and polished and good looking. I can do either one. And we'll probably do both of these methods multiple times as we go through and do different season starts and new villages and fresh starts. But for this first one, I'm feeling that itch to make this place look pretty. So what we're going to do is get ourselves a little bit more ceiling height here. Um, I want to add in some hallways that kind of go in and go behind the ladder here and give me like a way to go that way as well. And then widen out the initial tunnel here and probably the little tunnel that's going to lead to that too. Just so we have some defined like pathways. It'll eventually kind of narrow down to the single wide because we're going to have to go way too far for me to want to dig out, you know, 100 blocks in either direction, especially without like maximum enchanted tools and that sort of thing. But in any event, we could at least get this show on the road. So I'm going to start knocking out some blocks. I I can't. I just I just can't anymore. This is too slow. Um, all right. We're going to change gears here. Um, I guess this is the nice thing about classic is like I don't have to. I could do what I want in this thing. So I think what we're going to actually do here is we're going to go back topside. We're going to breed up a few more cows. We're going to get a lot of leather. We're going to make an enchanting table. I just I need it at this point. It has to happen. We may even designate a librarian and try to roll mending just so we have like one one max thing with good enchants on it because it will literally make the whole process so much quicker. I just I can't do it anymore. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Significant progress has been made, people. Significant progress. We should have enough to get our little bookshelf area all done. Um, we have to fill in these corners. Bam, bam. Let's bring this out here. Bring this out here. Bring this here. Get rid of that. Bring this in. Put that there. Put that there. And bam. There we go. I forgot to bring lapis. But oh, this is going to be so great. I'm super curious what's in here for the first thing. Unbreaking three. See, that could be good. If we get other enchants with it, it could not be good. I'll probably 
I might reset it multiple times until we get fortune there because we 100 percent right now more than anything want fortune so let's grab a couple things let's grab this grindstone that was already part of this little like blacksmith area right here yoink and then let's grab some lapis we don't have a lot but we have some we also need a fresh pickaxe we do not want to enchant an almost broken pickaxe that does us absolutely no good at all let me do i have sticks i do have sticks we just put diamonds in here yoink brand new pickaxe there we go and let's see what we can do let's see what we can do pop this in pop this in Let's reset it. Man, they really need a button for this. Imagine if like you just had a reset button, didn't cost you any levels, would just take like one lapis. And instead of having to put something on the pickaxe and then click up one here and then take the thing off the pickaxe and then go back into the table and put the pickaxe back down and see that you have unbreaking one again and do the whole process over and over and over again and waste all of your levels in the, pro in the process. What if, excuse me, sir, what if you could just do it all in one go so we'll just keep going through this little process right here man i'm so tempted to just take this like i just wasted three levels we could have just rolled it right here should should i do it should i take the chance we're gonna do it i'm making I'm, I'm making a big leap come on give me a maximum enchanted pickaxe let's efficient okay all right that's not that bad that's not that bad we still need four. Oh, and there's fortune three. Okay, we need three levels. How how to get? Um, we have a fishing rod that can get us levels. Um, I have cows over there. They're gonna grow up soon. That can get us levels. And I think I have a few things in the furnace up here that can get us some experience points too. Okay, 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 okay. Give me food. Finally, level 30 has been achieved. Let's uh, let's dump some of this off and let's see if fortune three is still there. If it is, we will have efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune three, and we will only need a mending villager and maybe picking up efficiency four again to combine in one more time. We can just use our broken up pickaxe for this. Come on, give me fortune three and efficiency four. Ah, yes. Ah, <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. We need an anvil. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. One, two, three. And anvil. <laughs> Let's do it. Look at this. Man, that's cost a lot of levels. But look at that. Unbreaking three. Fortune three. Efficiency five. And now all we need to get to finish this thing off is we need to get mending. But... We don't have time to do that right now because instead what I want to do is I want to go to my old crafting table here. Let's make a book and quill. Let's make a bookshelf. Let's make some slabs and let's make a lectern. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing I forgot to share with you. This is the big secret from earlier in the episode I mentioned, but if we hit a high enough like threshold in some episodes, then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invite a special guest to come help the raid defeat me. That special guest could be a lot of different people. Could be a popular creator that you'd like and enjoy. Could be my daughter who just wants to come in and kill me while Ray tries to kill me. I don't know yet. And it could change as we do at different times because we won't do it only once. So stay tuned for the next episode because you never know when I could offer in that special reward. Some of you may guess what we're gonna do here, but I wanna keep a log of our like most important accomplishments throughout this process here as we go through and update the uh, the board. So let's put down our lectern here. Let's take our book and quill and then let's log episode one. We built our starter house. Episode two got diamond gear defended village from raid with the help of Paul. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Let's put that in there for logging anything in the future. Unfortunately, this time around, we did not have time to build out our mine. So we're going to get into that in the next episode. What am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I'm going to go ahead and do some mining, some caving. Actually, we're going to do some caving with our new pickaxe. And I'm going to do it on stream. So for those of you that were here for the episode, I do appreciate it. Make sure you click that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what do you want to see happen in future episodes? What kind of things are you looking forward to in the series? How did you enjoy 
the raid fight I did not enjoy a lot. And who do you think is the hero of the village? Is it me or is it Paul? Me and Moonstone, are at my editor, had we had a little battle about this. I, obviously, I think it was me, but Paul, he helped. He was nice. Paul! 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 Help me, Paul! Bruh. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you like this classic Let's Play vibe, then vibe out by clicking that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!